welcome back to lecture study room today our topic is uh, eighth class biology textbook from ap new syllabus this is the part 2 video in cell structure and function so let us move on to the topic the first one is the size of the cell so size of the cells in the living organism may be as a small as a millionth of the meter that is micrometer or micron or maybe as the large as a few centimeters so any living organism lo teeskunnatlaithe maniki cell yokka size anedi million meter lo million vantu ante micrometer aina undachu microns aina undachu ledante few centimeters konni centimeters yokka parimanam lo kuda undachu however most of the cells are microscopic in size and are not visible to the unaided eye so chaala cells we can't see with our eye directly unaided eye that means we can't wear anything like microscope or anything microscope lekunda manam general ga ee cell ni kuda chodali anamata but they need to be enlarged and magnified as a by a microscope manam cell ni chudali ante manaki kachithanga microscope anedi kavali anamata the cell is 0.1 to 0.5 micrometer in bacteria the largest cell measuring in the 170 millimeters to 130 millimeters is the egg of an ostrich ante manam kanti tho chooda ante anniti kante smallest cell athlo nadi size yokka enta ante dan size 0.1 to 0.5 micrometers but largest cell enti ante an egg of ostrich mar dani yokka size entu untadi ante 170 millimeters to 130 millimeters size anni so activity 1.2 here see boil a hen's egg remove the shell what do you observe a white material is surrounded the yellow part so inside the egg we can see two types of part yellow part and yellow part is surrounded by a white part so white material is albumin so the white part in the egg will be called as a albumin but which solidifies on boiling so whenever we boil the egg the liquid white material will be turned into solid and the yellow part is yolk so the yellow part in the egg will be called as a yolk it is the part of the single cell so the yellow part represent the part of the single cell you can observe this single cell without any magnifying device that means hence egg we can see with our unaided eye without using any microscope so that is the uh, living cell we can see with our unaided eye okay but are the cells in an elephant larger than the cells in a rat let us observe the size of the cells has no relation with the size of the body of the animal or plant so cell yokka size anedi adi dani lo unde animal batti gaani plant ga batti gaani okay la undadu so it is not necessary that all the cells in the elephant must be bigger than those in a rat the rat to polchukunte elephant lo unnatuvanti anni cells pedda ga undalsina avasaram ledhu the size of the cell is related to its function for example nerve cell both in the elephant and rat are long and branched that means rat loni elephant loni manu nerve cells chesukunte renditloni pudugane untayi and renditlo kuda branched gane untayi anamata so they perform the same function that of transferring messages so renditi yokka function ante rat lo unna nerve cell kana elephant lo unna nerve cell kana sare renditi ki same function enti the function of the nerve cell is a transferring the messages next cell structure and function you have learned that each living organism has a many organs i already told in the first video cells first initially cell is the basic organ of the basic unit of any organism first cells will be formed later it will be grouped together to form as a tissue later tissues group to combine to form as a organ so organs involved to form a organ system so all the organ systems together to be form as a organism so you have studied in the class 7th about the digestive organs which together to constitute the digestive system but each organ in the 
system performs different functions such as a digestion take for example digestive system has a some uh, different parts so each part perform different function for example those functions like digestion assimilation and absorption so similarly different organs of a plant perform specific or specialized functions for example roots helps in the absorption of water and minerals from the soil and leaves you have learnt in the class 7th these are responsible for the food that means food will be prepared in the leaves it should be transferred to the remaining parts of the plant like roots branches and stem and water will be absorbed from the roots from the soil and it should be transferred to the stem and aerial parts of the tree but all should be transferred from one place to another place through with the help of food tissues and different parts so each organ is further made up of smaller parts called tissues again already told you tissues group together to form as a organ a tissue is a group of similar cells perform a specific function paheli realized that an organ is made up of tissues which in turn are made up of cells so the cells in a living organism is the basic structural and unit and what is the which what is the basic and structural unit of any living organism the cell and organism so each organ is made up of tissues so again tissues are made up of cells and cells in any living organisms are the structural and functional unit of the living organism okay next let us move on to the observe let us understand the parts of the cell so let us learn to know what are the parts present in the cell so first one is a cell membrane so we have a house the house should be surrounded by a compound wall similarly the parts present in the cell those will be called as a cell organelles and these cell organelles are surrounded by a one membrane it will be called as a cell membrane the other name for cell membrane is a plasma membrane so the basic components of the cells are the cell membrane cytoplasm and nucleus so the cytoplasm and nucleus are enclosed within the cell membrane and also called the plasma membrane what is the other name for cell membrane it is a plasma membrane but what are the cell organs present in the cell cytoplasm nucleus so similarly ribosomes golgi complex mitochondria so all these are cell organs are present within the cytoplasm only the membrane separate the cell from one and another and also the cell from the surrounding media so cell membrane helps to separate the cell from one to another and also the cell from surrounding medium the plasma membrane is a porous and allows the movement of the substances or materials both in inward and outward that means plasma membrane it helps to uh, allow the substance inside the cell and uh, if, if uh, unwanted substances are present in the cell it should be moved out of the cell cell ki emaithe avasaram aithe vatini plasma membrane lopra kello chestundi at the same time అవసరం లేనటువంటి వాటిని బయటికి కూడా పంపిస్తుంది అనమాట సో నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇస్ యాక్టివిటీ వన్ పాయింట్ త్రీ ఈ నాట్ టు అబ్జర్వ్ ద బేసిక్ కాంపోనెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద సెల్ టేక్ ఎన్ ఆనియన్ బల్ రిమూవ్ ద డ్రై పింక్ కవరింగ్స్ యు కెన్ ఈజీలీ సపరేట్ దీస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫ్లెషీ వైట్ లేయర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద బల్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్సిప్స్ ఈవెన్ విత్ యువర్ హ్యాండ్ యు కెన్ ఆల్సో బ్రేక్ ద ఆనియన్ బల్ అండ్ సపరేట్ అవుట్ ద తిన్ లేయర్స్ సో ప్లేస్ ఎ స్మాల్ పీస్ ఆఫ్ ఎ తిన్ ఆనియన్ పీల్ అండ్ ఎ డ్రాప్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ ఆన్ ఎ గ్లాస్ లైట్ అండ్ ద తిన్ లేయర్ బి కెన్ బి కట్ ఇన్ టు ద స్మాలర్ పీస్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ఎ బ్లేడ్ ఆర్ ఫోర్సిప్స్ అండ్ ఆడ్ ఎ డ్రాప్ ఆఫ్ మెథలిన్ బ్లూ సొల్యూషన్ to the layer and you place the cover slip on it while placing the cover slip ensure that there is no air bubbles under the cover slip and observe the slide under the microscope draw and label the draw and label it and you may compare with your figure 1.5c so for this activity if you want to observe the nucleus in the onion peel first of all take your onion bulb and uh, remove the peel white color peels from the 
layers from on white color fleshy layers from the onion later we will separate the thin layer from the white color fleshy leaves after that it should be keep on a slide and pour one two three drops of water and after you will add one two three drops of methylene blue if any excessive methylene blue is there it should be removed or wiped with the filter paper and keep one cover slip on the uh, onion layer and observe it under the microscope you can see with the, uh, the we can see we can observe with the nucleus from the onion peel see and uh, your picture observing picture in the microscope and after that uh, in this diagram we will compare those pictures so if we observe in the microscope the blue color dots will be appear to us so thus blue color dots will indicate the nucleus so the boundary of the onion cell is the cell membrane so we can clearly see the cell membrane and covered by another thick covering called as a cell wall also so the central dense round body in the center is called as a nucleus i already told you the dark color blue color spots resembles the nucleus so if you want to observe the nucleus in the plant cell or chick cells we have to use the solution which solution we can we can be used methylene blue so the jelly like substances which was present between the cell membrane and uh, external side of the nucleus will be called as a cytoplasm and i want to know why plant cells need cell walls because cell walls are absent in the animal cell but why the plant cell needs cell wall cell wall anedi jantu kanallo undadu kevalam mokkala kanallo maatrame undadu mari mokkala kanal maatrame ee cell wall endu kosam ante i have learnt earlier that the cell membrane gives shape to the cell in addition to the cell membrane there is an outer thick layer in the cells of the plants called cell wall cell wall is surrounded by the cell membrane cell membrane so out of the cell, outer of the cell membrane cell wall is there so the additional layer surrounding the cell membrane is required by the plants for the protection asala cell wall anade ekkada untadi ante cell membrane untadi kada cell membrane chuttu surround chesi cell wall anade untadi so it is a additional layer anamata plants ki protection avadam kosam unnatuvanti additional layer anamata so plant cell need protection again is the variations in the temperature high wind speed and atmospheric moisture etc and how can it will protect the plant cell from the variations in the temperature that means uh, sometimes temperature means what uh, the hottest or coldness of the air will be called as a temperature sometimes temperatures are high or sometimes some temperatures are very cool so the variations in temperature from it will be helpful the cell wall will be protect them inside the parts present in the cell and high wind speed and atmospheric moisture etc so they are exposed to the variations because they can't move because plants are sedentary organisms they can't move so ante mokkalu anevi stiranga ochu atundi pate gadi kadalo kabatti vaatiki ivi kavalu anamata e kuche gaalli ginchi gaallo unde ekku taam ninchi kaapadukodam konchu alage ushnograthalu perina vaati ninchi kaapadukodam kosam ee plants ki adananga ee cell wall anedi untadu anamata cells can be observed in the leaf peel of tradescantia elodia or rio so ee plants yokka manamu ee tagede mokkalinchu gaani elodia ledha rio plants elodia anedi water plant but rio plant anedi daninchu kuda manam ee ee manu enti లీఫ్ పీల్ తీసి అంటే వాటి యొక్క ఆకు నుంచి పల్చటి పొరను తీసి మనం సెల్స్ ని అబ్జర్వ్ చేయొచ్చు అనమాట యు కెన్ ప్రిపేర్ ఎ స్లైడ్ ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆనియన్ సో ఆనియన్ లాగే మనం ఇక్కడ స్లైడ్ ని ప్రిపేర్ చేసుకోవచ్చు అనమాట పహేలి ఆస్ బోజో ఇఫ్ యూ కెన్ ఆల్సో అబ్జర్వ్ ద ఆనిమల్ సెల్ సో మరి మనం ఆనిమల్ సెల్ ని కూడా చూడొచ్చా అంటే సో చూడొచ్చు సో టేక్ ఈ క్లీన్ టూత్ పిక్ ఆర్ ఏ మ్యాచ్ స్టిక్ విత్ ద టిప్ బ్రోకెన్ స్క్రాప్ ఇన్ సైడ్ యువర్ చీక్ యువర్ so inside your cheek with the help of toothpick or uh, matchstick and uh, don't uh, scrap too much without uh, hurting it okay so then the collected pieces should be placed it in on your glass slide and uh, pour 2 3 drops of water on it and add your drop of iodine and place a cover slip over it 
and alternatively one two drops of methylene blue solution is also we have to add because if you want to observe the nucleus which solution we require so the iodine solution is we required so observe it under microscope you may notice that there several cells in the scrapper material you can identify the cell membrane and the cytoplasm and the nucleus so cell wall is absent in the animal cell because plant cells only have a cell wall this is the major difference between the plant cell and animal cell so animal cell cell wall is absent in the animal cell cell wall is present in the plant cell okay thank you for watching this video please like my video share my videos to your friends and subscribe my channel